I can probably throw another. This again? Really? Really, game? You're doing this to me? Alright, now that I remember the path through here a little bit better, I can optimize my time in here a little bit better. Hopefully, life doesn't continue to be terrible for me. This run is just not doing me any favors. I'll stick with it, though. Cool. That's not good. They deal a lot of damage. I don't want to fight too many battles, but I still... Oh, I didn't even see what that was. Might have just been just a... That was a potion. Uh, yeah, I'll throw that on her. Phoenix down. Gap. If you do happen to have a thief, it will reveal those hidden passages, so you'll be able to get through them. No, but Final Fantasy V is one of my favorite. Final Fantasy games. It, it, there, there's a lot to it. There's a, there's a lot under the hood that I not even that I don't even know. Well, you know what? Get that leather hat to her. Bronze armor, bronze helmet. Got me something. Yeah, there we go. All right. Mage Masher again, that's like my third. Needle attack is a counter attack, so you, so you want to make sure you one shot those Gatlings, unlike what I did, which wasn't one shot the Gatlings. Dream Heart. I don't really want to use a two-handed weapon because it is... T it takes away my shield evasion. Oh, 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 oh. Rip run. Right there. Rip run. Just got the dancing dagger. Which uh, is a fairly strong weapon in its own right, but it, on but it has a chance of doing... Instead of when you use the attack command with it, it has a chance of doing the dance command from the dancer ability. From the dancer class. And this isn't good, but Paris has some health, so... Yeah, so Sword Dance, meaning you're going to be dealing four times the amount of damage that you would normally from a, from a regular hit, or possibly even more. It's crazy. Sword Dance is cool. Depending on your area, some of the other dances aren't cool. If you're fighting on dead enemies, you don't want to be using a Dancing Dagger. Right now I'm not fighting on dead enemies, so light, this, is a, this is a good time to pick up a... Uh, a dancing dagger, so. Oh, I, I know I said rip run, but I don't, I wouldn't call it a rip run yet because I still am not in a very good way as far as items and stuff goes. So, I do have, I can throw, chuck another ether and use some cura, cura here. Should I? Yeah, I'm going to. So, yeah. Boop.
So there's another sword dance, which deals tons and tons of damage. So that's probably going to be my best out, my best uh, damage output right now is going to be that is going to be the dancing dagger. So yeah, sword dance doing plenty of work for me. Mage Masher, not so much. Okay, well, now I can not use so much MP on healing, which is nice. Okay, so I got initiative this fight. Got a back, got a back attack. Okay, Tempting Tango, that causes confusion on an enemy if they're susceptible to it, which can be useful. Probably gonna punch himself now, it's gonna be hilarious. Now he's gonna run away! That works too. Alright, onward, next floor. We are on floor number nine! Still have some treasure in it. Got a dagger, which is not good for me right now. Bronze helmet. We need some headgear. Mystery Waltz uh, drains MP from an enemy. If they're undead, then you will give MP to the enemy, which is, does nobody any favors. If the enemy has no MP, then you are boned. But the Dancing Dagger can be good to restore MP. If I if I were so inclined, I could possibly pass uh, Krill the Dancing Dagger and have her drain some MP out back out of the enemy out of enemies that have uh, MP. These Banner Snatches, they're not going to have MP. A dark bow, which cause blind on an enemy. That actually might be a reason to go with a one-handed op go for a two-handed option. So let's let's go ahead and take those off. And yeah, Dark Bow does a little bit more damage and I can put him in the back row so it'll do it'll take less damage. Jitterbug drains HP. Just like uh, Mystery Wald drains MP. Great sword. Significant boost in attack power, so now things are starting to pick up a little bit. As far as items go. Let's go ahead and move on. Each equipment, 10 floor, are going to be four boxes here. Tricorn hat. Uh, that is. That actually is protect. That's the Protect spell. Might not get a whole lot of use this run, but... We'll see. Tricorn hat. Give that to her. That is the Life Song, which does me absolutely no good because I don't have a uh, have a bard, and the cho and the Chocobo Summon does me no good because I don't have a summoner. So this is floor ten. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time here to gain a bit of experience. deal with this. They start all hitting Ferris. That was not good. Conserve a little bit of MP there. Oof. 
Jitterbug! Probably should not have healed Lena because she would probably use Jigger Jitterbug anyway. Now, Krill's up to level four white magics, and let's see what jobs. What exactly jobs do I have? I have white mage, I have knight, and I have blue mage. Okay. So one thing I could do is switch my characters up a little bit, get someone else some time as a white mage. Uh, I don't think I, I'm not. I don't think I'm going to because Krill is the only true white mage because she has kitty ears, and it's adorable. You might notice on my silly uh, scrolling background is that, uh... Is that, uh, there is no... There is no mimic sprite for Gallop, and this is true. If you actually do hack the game to where you have access to all the classes, then Gallop will not have a mimic. He will not have a mimic sprite because he can't be a mimic. So you can't get mimic until the end of the game, after a thing happens to him. Okay, I first just learned the two-handed skill, which will, which when set, will let you use a sword with two hands, increasing its damage. So I'm getting a lot of attack power out of that, so I'm going to skip the shield on her, so she can just sword the crap out of anything. That banner going to hit my dudes in the back row, that's fine. Uh, defend. I'm going to go ahead and swing now because she's going to deal a boatload of damage as it is. More holy water. Man, did 590 damage with a, with a swing there. I think I can probably drain MP from the Gala Cats. Forget. Most classes can equip a uh, can equip a dagger, but I don't think white yeah white mages cannot equip daggers. I could switch her off of a uh, white mage to like uh, to a blue mage. She could use the, so she could use the dancing dagger to uh, to to drain MP. But of course that's that's banking on RNG, and I'm not really gonna uh, I'm not really about that. Okay, that missed. The miss animation for bows is always so silly because it just looks like, oh, I'm going to pull the bowstring, but I forgot my arrow. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and move on. <laughs> 